now, this is old. Around the country, success for a fast food chain with the humble pie. Growing trend these days is to eat out. Last year, 20% more people went out to dinner. But what might surprise you is that now the destination is often an outlet where the main dish is the humble pie. They're not queuing here for Jurassic Park or the latest rock concert. They're waiting for a Georgie pie, one of 700,000 people who'll be doing so this week. The fast food takeaway market is truly one of the fast growth areas in New Zealand business. As well as people eating out far more, they're spending much more on takeaways. Last year, one and a half billion dollars was spent on restaurants and takeaways, 14% up on the year before. This trend has been happening for a number of years and is expected to continue. Yet we still spend relatively little on fast foods. In the US, 50% of all food spending is away from the home. Here it's much less than that. And that's good news for the growth of chains like Georgie Pie. And this business is certainly cashing in on the trend. Last year, Georgie Pie sold $24 million worth of pies, double the year before. But this story's not about selling pies, it's about being in the whole fast foods restaurant business. Georgie Pie managers realise they're not competing against pie makers, they're competing against other fast food chains. So they target young families in the teenage set. And it's working. Already this year, six new outlets have been opened, and within the year, 15 more will be in operation as part of a $50 million expansion throughout the country. But it hasn't always been this way. Two years ago, Georgie Pie was going nowhere. Plans for expansion were put on hold, and its owners, Progressive Enterprises, were seriously considering selling Georgie Pie. In a last-ditch attempt to find a solution, the Georgie Pie team tried a new pricing strategy. Meals became $1, $2, $3 and $4 amounts. Instead of pricing their meals at, say, $2.95. It also determined that the prices would be permanent, not limited time or special event promotions. And although it meant cutting prices by nearly 25%, General Manager Brian Popham says the strategy certainly worked. There was a very dramatic response to that initial $1 value menu. In fact, in all restaurants, there were queues out the door on that first night of advertising. So within an hour, we saw a response to that campaign. These youngsters are part of another novel marketing ploy used as part of the Georgie Pie Rags to Riches turnaround, the Georgie you. Pie Kids Club. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jasmine. The company realised it couldn't front it with the likes of McDonald's and their huge promotions surrounding events like Jurassic Park, so they set up the club to build customer loyalty at the earliest age. And that too has worked. The kids love the birthday cake and hats, and every Georgie Pie outlet is geared up to attract the party set. Another of the ways Georgie Pie has gained a competitive advantage is by avoiding high production costs at each outlet. Instead of having to make up hamburgers, for example, on the premises, all Georgie Pies are made here at this Mungaree factory, which has the capacity to turn out up to 6,000 pies an hour. They're then frozen before trucking to outlets around the country. This means the pies arrive in top condition, something acknowledged by Consumer Magazine last year when it rated Georgie Pies in the top 10 in the country quality-wise. The same survey found 30% of New Zealand pies didn't meet health standards. Quality is very important. It's right up there with value. Uh, quality in consistency of the product. We can guarantee that the product you buy in, in this restaurant is the same in any other restaurant. Ten types of pies are made here. They pride themselves on using no artificial flavourings or colourings, and while the factory has updated its plant, it's also expanded the workforce to meet increased production. Production that's constantly expanding. So why has Georgie Pie achieved success when two years ago it was headed for disaster? What Georgie Pie introduced was a pricing strategy that everyone could understand. Then the kids club built customer loyalty. And what they're selling is not the pie, but the whole restaurant experience. And it's not just the company which is benefiting from the huge business turnaround. Job seekers are also reaping the rewards. 
In the past year, Georgie Pie has created nearly a thousand new jobs, and they're not just in the main centres, but in some of the provincial areas hardest hit by the economic recession. So the good old Kiwi Pie is making a comeback against the burgers, pizza and chicken of the American takeaway giants. And with the huge expansion plans, there's also the opportunity for people to buy Georgie Pie franchises, which are currently up for sale. That's if you've got the half million dollars or so needed to get into a business that certainly sees itself having anything but a humble future.